good afternoon all my favorite yarny peeps here on youtube this is bailey nectar cat on the prowl creations coming to you with yet another stitch pattern tutorial it is another shell pattern yes it is there are so many different ones that can be utilized and i'm kind of hoping that i would be able to show you at least some of them my goal throughout these beautiful various shell stitch pattern tutorials is to be able to share with those of you who might not have access to uh, some of these crochet pattern books and need a visual and or a visual and um, spoken instruction on how to create them so that it makes your life that much easier especially if you are a new crocheter to the YouTube streets. I hope that um, in true Bailey form, which is in total lack of knowledge and technology and in goofiness and errors and slip stitches and sometimes miscounts and stuff like that, I hope to bring you a tutorial that you will be able to follow along with and hopefully prayerfully understand. All right, let me just try to get this a little bit better because there we go. That's where I want you, right there, part in my hands, guys. All right, so this particular stitch can be used for so many different things. It could be used to make uh, beautiful summer or, or spring summer type tanks or sweaters or pullovers or wraps or shawls or scarves or hats or any of the above it is beautiful and lacy depending on um, the crochet hook that you use will determine how lacy exactly this will be for today's tutorials I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook um, with a very uh, medium weight four weight Aran yarn this is also a four weight yarn but I use a smaller hook because the yarn is not as thick as the other one. It is closer. It is between like a three and a four. So this is the Brava uh, worsted weight in the color Peapod. It is classified as a four weight yarn. But it is, um, it, it doesn't have the same feel or thickness to it as some other four weights actually do. So this was done in that solid color Peapod. And this was done in a variegated. Now I did this in this variegated, which is extra yarn that I have lying around. It was all part of a one pounder that came to me by one of these guys here. And you got three skeins in there. So I decided I was going to pop it open and see what this would look like in this particular yarn. And also show uh, what the pattern looks like in a variegated yarn for those of you who have requested a variegated yarn tutorial as well or what it would look like. So this is what it would look like in a variegated. Maybe not necessarily in this particular variegated. That might not be your choice, but that's what it looks like in a variegated and that's what it looks like in a solid. You can use any color, any yarn you wish for tutorial purposes. I am using four weight yarn. It is part of a Karen and Big Cake that I have left over. I re balled it up and I got it stuck in a bucket. This was called Vanilla Bean. It's also classified as a four weight yarn. It's 100% acrylic. This particular a uh, ball of yarn or skein of yarn or cake of yarn. I forget which how it came. It was a it was a cake. It was a cake of yarn. There you go. Was <laughs> um, six hundred and three yards. I didn't have a whole heck of a lot left over, so I figured I may as well use up some of that for tutorial purposes. I will be using a five point five millimeter crochet hook and 
you will need a pair of scissors. Yes, you will. A darning needle to sew in your ends, which I never do on my swatches. Maybe a couple of stitch markers if you need them. I have a row counter if you decide that you want to use your project and you want to count your rows just to see where you are. It's a good thing to have handy. A tape measure, just in case you never know. I have one of these awesome things. It threads needles. Very easy to use. You stick it through the eye, hook your yarn, and then pull it through. Nifty needle little gadgets. And this one happened to come from Mama D here. I only have two of these left plus the one in my living room. So I have three. And it's like, ah, I'm going to have to talk to Mama G again. Oh, no. All right. So the pattern that I'm going to show you now that I've jabbered on, okay, is called Double Stems. Now, I did another tutorial, and it was called Short Stems. So please do not confuse this pattern with the short stem one. All right. This pattern is done up in multiples of eight plus three for your setup row. What that means is you keep crochet, you keep chaining eight and eight and eight until you get to the desired length or width, depending on what it is that you are making. You're going to use that for and then you will add on an additional three. For tutorial purposes today, I will do three sequence of eight, and then I will add my three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? I'm gonna do another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm going to do one more set of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's three multiples of eight. For the swatch that I'm going to show you today, that's all I'm going to chain. Okay? I would like to mention chain three counts as your first double crochet throughout the entire pattern. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. All right. So now I've done three multiples of eight. So I have 24 chains here. Now I'm going to chain up an additional one, two, and three. That for those three chains counts as your first double crochet. Now what you are going to do is into the fourth chain, which is that one there, one, two, three, and four, you are going to place two more double crochets, one and two. You are going to skip over two stitches and into the next you are going to place a double crochet and into the one right beside that one you are going to place another double crochet. Now you're going to skip over two one and two and into the third you are going to place three double crochets one two and three and into the one right beside that you are also going to place three double crochets so go ahead and place three, one, two, and three. You're going to skip two chains. 
and then you are going to place a double crochet into the next and you are going to place another double crochet into the one right after that one and that's your repeat skip two three double crochet one sorry two and three into the very next one three double crochets one two and three You're going to skip two chains, one and two, and then you are going to place one double crochet into each of the next two. So that's one, and then into the next chain, you're going to place another double crochet. You will now have three chains left if you're doing this correctly. One, two, and three. What you are going to do is you're going to skip those last two chains and into the very, very last chain, you are going to place three double crochets. One, two, and three. That is the end of row one. And that's what it should be looking like. So to recap, this is done in multiples of 8 plus 3. For my stitch pattern tutorial, I did a total of 3 sets of 8 and added 3. So that was 24 plus an additional 3 gave me 27. I did 2 more double crochets into the 4th chain from the hook. I skipped two and I placed one double crochet into each of the next two. I skipped two. I did three double crochet. And then I did three double crochet into the one beside it. I skipped two, one double, into the next one, one double. Skip two, three double crochets, into the next one, three double crochets. Skip two, one double, one double. That's your repeat. And into the very last one, you skip the last two chains and you put a total of three double crochets. On to row two. This is a two row repeat. But as you're going to see, it's basically you're just alternating where the stems are going and where the buds are going. Or where the, yeah, where the stems and where the buds are going. All right. So you chain up a three. This counts as your first double crochet. You're going to skip the first three. One, two, and three. Yes, you're counting that very first one there. Two and three. Which will bring you over to your two standalone double crochets. Into each of those double crochets, you will place three double crochets. So into the first one, it's three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the very next double crochet that's standing alone, you will place three double crochets. One, two, and three. You're going to skip two double crochets and into the top of the third and the fourth you will place one double crochet in each of those. So you're going to skip two into the third is one double crochet into the fourth is one double crochet. 
Again, you're going to skip two, one and two, which will bring you to your two standalone double crochets. Into your two double standalone crochets, into each one you will place three double crochets. So that's three in the top of this one and three in the top of that one. Let's go ahead and do that. That's one, two, and three. Into the very next one is three double crochets as well. One, two, and three. You're going to skip two double crochets. As you can see, there are six, one, two, three, four, five, and six double crochets there. So you're going to skip the first two. And into the third, you're going to place a double crochet. And into the fourth, you're going to place a double crochet. And if you notice, those two double crochets are pretty much sitting in the middle of your cluster here of six. You're going to skip over the two when you come to your two standalones. Yes, you guessed it. That's what you're going to do. You are going to place four double crochets into, I'm sorry, three double crochets into each one of those two stitches. So that's two and three. One two and three, and you're going to skip the next two stitches and that chain right beside that double crochet. Let's see if I can get you on camera. Into the top of that chain. After you skip the next two double crochets, you will place one double crochet. And that will end row two. Row three is basically, again, we're repeating, only we're doing the reverse. So you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your work around into that very, 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 very first stitch. Place two more double crochets. You're going to skip over to your cluster of six and into the third and into the top of the third and the fourth is where you are going to place one double crochet in each one of those stitches. So if you started off with a chain three, you put two double crochets right into that first stitch. You're going to skip over two into the top of the third is a double and in top of the fourth. And I feel a hair in my hands. Ah, we have hair. Hair. I you always, at least this isn't going anywhere, guys. So it's like, you know, it's my own DNA. So I'm sorry if you see the hair. <laughs> You're going to skip the two and into your two standalones. Yes, you guessed it. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the next one is three. And this is your repeat. One, two, and three. It's a very simple two row repeat, guys. Seriously simple. And it is so pretty if you make it up like really lacy using a bigger hook even. You'd be surprised at the, at the results. So don't forget. Skip your two one double into the top of that third one one two 
one double crochet into the top of that fourth. Skip the next two double crochets and you guessed it. Here we go again. Three doubles, three doubles. Go ahead and do it. We'll finish off this row together. So that's one, two, three, in French. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. That's one, two, and three. Skip over two. One double in top of that third one. One double in top of that fourth one. Now, remember you started with two double crochets and a chain three. So it gave you three double crochets in your very first one. You need to end this row now with three double crochets. So you skip over those two and into the top of that third one right there, that guy there you are going to place three double crochets to finish off your row. So that's one, try to get both legs, very important. One, whoops, try going on camera. Two, and three. And that, guys, is basically your entire pattern throughout. So each time you're going to start up with a chain of three, one, two, and three. We'll repeat rows two and three one more time, just so that you have an idea. A good trick to remember what you're doing and to know what row you're on is row three always starts off with three doubles in your first stitch. Row two always starts off with just one chain of three, which counts as your double, and you're skipping over those and going directly over to the next. So it's basically a repeat for each one. So here we go again. Repeat of round two. We chain three. We turned our work around. We're going to skip those three stitches right away. And into your two standalone double crochets, you will place three double crochets in each one. This is a repeat of row two. So that's one, two, and three. And one. two, and three. You're going to skip over the next two doubles and into the top of the third and into the top of the fourth, you will place one double crochet. I like to do it like that, but you can just do chain, you know, skip two chains if it's easier for you to do it. Me, I can eyeball three and four, so that's the way I do it, but it's all right. The idea is you skip the first two chains and it's one double crochet into the next two. One and one. Skipping over those two crochets there, your two last double crochets, you come to your two standalones and you do your three double crochets in each one of those. One, two, and three. And one. Sorry about that. Two, and three. Skip two, 
one double crochet into the next one, one double crochet, skip two, three double crochet in top of that double, one, oops, two, and three, three double crochets into your next single double. <laughs> Did I just confuse you with that, guys? <laughs> One, two, and three. And into your very last, you're going to skip two. And into the top of that chain three, which is right there, you will place one double crochet. Try to get both legs of that chain please guys very important otherwise your whole stitching is going to kind of look wonky and off so it's a good idea to grab both on to the repeat of row three basically it's the same thing all over again so it's one two and three we're going to start with two doubles directly into that very first stitch. One and two. Counting your chain three, that gives you a total of three double crochets in that first stitch. Again, you find your group of six. And you're going to skip two and into the top of the third, you're going to place a double crochet. And on top of the fourth, you're going to place a double crochet, and then you're going to skip two. So let's go ahead and do that. One and two. That's one double crochet. That's one double crochet. Skip the two. That brings you back to your two standalones. And yes, you guessed it, into each one of those goes three double crochets. Pretty easy, huh guys? One, two, and three. And because this is such a small swatch, I'll just continue to go down the rest of this route, okay? And three double crochets. One, two, and three. Skip two and place one double crochet and one double crochet into the very next. Skip two and yep, we're back to those guys again. Three doubles in each, 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 each three doubles. Yes, I did. I said three doubles into each of those two stitches. One, two, and three. And one, two, and three. Skip over two. In top of the third and the fourth, you will place one double crochet. One in top of the third, one in top of the fourth. You're going to skip the last two, and because you started with three, you need to end with three into the top of that chain right there. You will place three double crochets. And from there, you're going to basically just continue to do repeats of round two and round three. Each time you're going to chain up three in total and turn your work around. The only difference is one time you're starting with one double crochet and going over. And an easy way to remember that that's what you're going to be doing. 
is that your previous row will have ended on row three, which is a start of three double crochets and skip the two and double crochet into each of the next. Skip two and then you're doing your three double crochets in each of the next two standalones. All right. So that's an easy way to remember it. Row two is you chain up three and you go directly over and you place your three double crochets, three double crochets. Skip two, single crochet, single crochet. Skip two, three doubles, three doubles. That's the repeat of your rows. I hope you understand and I hope you like this pattern. Let me know what you think you might want to use this for or if you've actually even used it before. Uh, this was done, like I said, with a 5.5. Um, you can see that it's a little lacier if you used a bigger hook size with the same weight yarn. It would be even lacier. I think this would make for a very pretty top. What do y'all think? What do you think? And what do you think that you might want to use this kind of a stitch for? I hope you understood everything. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you enjoy these tutorials in general and that you find them helpful and useful. And um, until such time as I see you again in these wonderful YouTube streets, stay blessed, stay creative, stay inspired, and remember, please do all things with kindness. Bye.